Hi everyone, I'm Sailaja and welcome back to the session on Power BI for beginners. So in today's session, we will be talking about what are the different stages of working in Power BI. So uh, let's assume that uh, we've been given a project to work with Power BI and uh, there are different stages in the process of getting to the report design right so let's get uh, understand like uh, what are the different phases of this um, uh, design cycle for power bi and how are they different from each other right so this is the power bi desktop uh, page like uh, the moment you click on the icon that has been configured on your desktop you just double click on that and this is how the initial page would look like right so here we've got like uh, three different uh, panes like the first one is called the report section the second section is called the data section and then we have the model section right so what are the different stages so the first stage that we have is the data integration so what do you mean by your data integration so in any uh, business intelligence um, uh, development project the primary step is to establish the successful connection with respect to the data and then integrate it for any transformations that might be needed for the connected data source all right so how do we connect to our data in power bi desktop so if you see this uh, ribbon on the top there is a section which or the very there is a pane called home so on the home tab you see an option called get data so just click on get data and we would be listed with the uh, different types of data sources that could be used to connect in power bi now in our example uh, i would be using an excel workbook and therefore i would go to this excel workbook connection and make the establishment right but before that let's quickly navigate to the different sets of data sources that power bi allows us to connect to and how we are able to get this data in power bi desktop now when i click on get data and more these are the different uh, types of data sources to which we are able to make a connection to so the first one is the connection to a flat file based data sources which allows us to make a connection with an excel workbook or a text or a csv file xml json folder and so on and then we also have database based connections uh, which are basically all the uh, RDBMS data sources like an Oracle database or a MySQL or a SQL Server, PostgreSQL. So there are n number of databases that have been listed down here. And then we have Power Platform. So we can connect to all the Power Platform related data sources and also to the Azure data sources because uh, Power BI is uh, a, an application that has been provided from Microsoft and therefore since Azure is a Microsoft based application this is well uh, fitted into this particular connection space. So all the Azure connectors or most of the Azure relevant data sources connectors are readily available from this get data option. And then we also have option to connect to any online services. So for example, if our data is resided in the SharePoint online, we can establish the connection by connecting to the specific connector over here. Similarly, if we are trying to make an analysis based out of our Google data, right? So we can just connect to our Google Analytics uh, connector and make the relevant analysis needed. And uh, there are uh, different sets of data sources as listed here. So depending on what type of data source uh, we are trying to connect to we just need to look for that particular data source and make the connection and there is also another uh, option which is like the other uh, category uh, data source so all the other data sources which have not been categorized in the above uh, listed connections have been uh, listed out here 
so just go through the list of options and see which one is relevant and then accordingly select the connector and provide the details to that connection and make the connection all right so for our example i'll just click on this excel workbook and say connect now when we say connect it would go to the uh, application so it would ask us to browse to the specific location where our data source is located so in our case since i've selected an example as an excel i've uh, uh, selected the specific uh, data set and i'm connecting to it okay so when i've selected that excel spreadsheet uh, the immediate next step that I can see here is a navigator window which would display us with a list of uh, tables within that selected data source. Okay, so in our example, I have a different number of tables being populated. However, let me just go through one by one to see which data would be relevant for our analysis. So I just uh, select this checkbox next to this orders table and immediately a preview of this data is populated towards its right hand side and there are different options where i can also see at the bottom of this preview data which would uh, highlight as load transform data and cancel okay so i'll just quickly uh, scroll through the list of columns that have been uh, previewed above and see if there is any need for uh, performing any um, transformation on the specific data. So transformation is nothing but if there are uh, if the data uh, that is fed into this tool has a lot of um, unrequired uh, uh, data, or if there are any unwanted values being populated, or probably if there is a need to rename a specific column or uh, remove some unwanted columns so all these have been categorized or can be performed during the transformation phase all right so uh, the table looks pretty good so uh, for this specific uh, analysis i would just go and hit on the load now the moment i hit on load power bi is trying to get all the data that is existing in that excel spreadsheet within the orders table into this specific power bi desktop so which means that the complete data is been copied and saved within this pbix file so pbix is the uh, uh, extension for our power bi desktop workbook file okay now uh so let's go and see uh, the data. So as I did mention, so these are the uh, three ways of how you can uh, look at the data, right? So the first one is by default, which is the report section. So which is basically where uh, uh, Power BI would allow us to build the different uh, visuals and uh, uh, reports as needed for our analysis. So it's basically like uh, you get to see the tables and uh, you can just drag and drop and uh, select the required visual and the report has been created. Okay, so for example, if I wish to see an analysis based on, for example, product and profit, I just select both the uh, columns and uh, I'll just select a stack bar chart and you could see that a chart has been already created for me without any delay so it's very quick and easy and it's very uh, intuitive so uh, that's how you can quickly create uh, visuals on power bi desktop so the next uh, pane that we see here is the data section so if i go to the data section i can eventually see the columns that are part of my selected table so on the right hand side under the fields pane i get to see the list of tables and uh, if i select that specific table i can actually see what are the rows and columns existing within that table so which would help me to make some further analysis 
for any transformations that might be required okay and the third section that i do see here is for the model so model is nothing but this is the uh, a section or this is the area where uh, it would allow us to define relationships among multiple tables so in our situation we only have the orders table and therefore there is no relationship specified because in order to define a relationship we would need at least two tables and there should be some cardinality or there should be some relation existing between those two tables okay so uh, let's uh, discuss about it in our next video where i would be giving you some basic understanding of how is the data being stored in our data warehouse and what are the different tables within the data warehouse and what are the different types of schemas and how do we uh, build different schemas in power bi under this model section all right so let's get back into our uh, initial one so as you see here um Towards this section, we have this filter section. Within the uh, filter section, we have got multiple options on how we would be able to filter the data. So I will explain this during the filters topic where I uh, get to explain you on the different types of filter options and how it is important. And then we also have the visualization section, uh, which would give us the different uh, uh, pre-built visuals that have been uh, provided by Power BI Desktop by default and the different formatting options within this section how you can make use of them while developing a report and then the third section that you see here is the field section so this would allow us to look at the existing tables that we have connected to in this Power BI uh, Desktop and the different columns as listed over here okay so these are the different uh, or uh, these are the basic understanding of power bi desktop all right so thank you so in the next video i will be discussing more in detail thank you